Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you ever find that a photo you took had a particular color you wanted to change? Wish you could go back in time to take the shot? Well, don't fret because Affinity Photo has some powerful tools to help you replace any color and both are pretty easy to use. So let's get right into it. The first tool for replacing color is the HSL Shift Adjustment Tool. With the HSL Shift Adjustment Tool, you can fine-tune the colors in your image or even completely change them by modifying the hue, saturation, and luminosity sliders. The hue shift slider, which you can see here on the right, controls the color tint of the pixels in an image. The saturation shift controls the intensity of the colors in the image, while the luminosity shift controls the overall brightness of the image. So with just these three sliders, you can more or less produce any color that you want. So let's work with the image right here. Let's say we want to change the blue shirts to a red one. How are we going to do that? To do that, let's click on Adjustments, choose HSL. On the resulting panel, you can see a row of circles that allows you to specify the color on which to perform the adjustment. Let's try the first circle, which will target the entire range of colors. To change the colors, simply move the hue shift slider around. That works fine, but let's look at some other options. If you want to be more targeted, you can also choose a particular color to replace. For example, in this case, since we want to replace the blue shirt with a red color, I'll click on the blue circle and let's see how that works. The colors were changing, but the red color, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be showing up. Now let's try the final way to specify a particular color, and that is to use the picker. As you can see, using the picker worked better. The shirt was properly changed to red. You can also do further adjustments on the color through the saturation and lightness sliders. So that's looking good. Now unfortunately, despite using the picker, it's clear that the adjustments are still affecting the other colors in the image. So how do we fix that? We fix that by creating a mask. To create the mask, let's first use the selection brush to select the shirts. Next, right click the mask layer button and select mask. And there you go. The color is replaced in the image. Here is the before and the after. So that's how you replace a color with the HSL shift tool. Now let's go on to the next image. So this is our next image. Let's say we changed our mind and now want to replace the color of the lips from blue to red. Let's apply the same process, use the HSL slider and see whether it still works. First, I'll use the selection brush to select the lips. Next, I'll use the HSL shift tool to turn the blue to red. Now, unfortunately, you can see the effect is not great. While part of the lips are indeed turning red, some parts are unfortunately turning green, giving an unsightly result. Now, since HSL is not working, let's try another tool which will hopefully give a better result. And that tool is called the Color Replacement Brush. So what is the Color Replacement Brush? The Color Replacement Brush works by replacing the color of pixels on the current layer with the foreground color selected on the color panel. The pixels affected by the color replacement brush are determined by the color of the pixel 
under the tool when you clicked on the image, whether the pixels are within the same selection area, whether the pixels are included in the painted stroke, the tool's tolerance settings. The color replacement brush has some notable settings. The first one is tolerance, and this sets the range of pixels affected when a pixel is clicked. For lower tolerance settings, pixels must be very close in value to the click pixel. For higher tolerance settings, the pixel color can vary widely from the click pixel. Another notable setting is sample continuously. This option is off by default and the behavior when this is off is that the initial click position determines the reference color to be replaced. However, when this is selected, new reference colors are determined as the cursor moves. So this will be a more computationally intensive process. Another setting is contiguous. When selected, and that is the default, only adjacent qualifying pixels under the stroke are recolored. If this option is off, all qualifying pixels under the stroke are recolored, even if they are non-adjacent. So let's begin using the color replacement brush. First, choose the color replacement brush from the toolbar and select a suitable red color. Next, let's brush over the lips. To specify the color, click on a blue area with the brush. Note that every time you click an area, the pixel under the tool will be the new sample. Once you've made the click, brush over the area with the color you want to replace. As you can see here, the brushing responsiveness is very poor, and that is because the tolerance setting is set to an overly low nine. Let's fix this issue by increasing the tolerance to 50. As you can see, brushing is now more responsive. Alternatively, you could also try to select the sample continuously option to make the brush more responsive. So here is the before and the after. Now let's work on the final image. Let's modify the color of this Cadillac's paint job from red to blue. As usual, let's first try the HSL tool and see how that works. As you can see, the result is not so great as there are some visible red and green artifacts left by the HSL operation, which are quite difficult to remove. Since HSL shift is not working, let's undo this operation and use the color replacement brush instead. I'll first select a blue color from the color panel. Next, I'll use a polygonal selection tool to make sure the color replacement is limited to just the car. I'll specify the sample by clicking on a red area, then I'll brush over the car. As you can see, the color replacement is much more precise with the color replacement tool. Here is the before and the after. So there you have it, two tools in Affinity Photo to replace any color on your image. As you can see, they're both extremely powerful and easy to use at the same time. Which tool do I prefer? If the color has limited variation, the HSL Shift tool is easier to use and I would try that first. However, if you are replacing a range of colors, I think the color replacement brush is much more precise and will give the better results. So I hope you found this video helpful let me know if you have any other techniques to replace color. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.